All right, so I wanted to wrap up my Unify video series with the camera that I've been mentioning, UVC G3. That's a 1080p indoor outdoor camera with infrared. So that's important. You can use them in either situation. The one I ordered, these were on back order for the longest time. I just got one that has a test date of 2017. So I'm not sure why they've been on back order if they haven't been producing new ones. That's uh, quite a long time ago. I'm not sure what's up with that. That I will mention that this, this, this one came with a super old firmware, probably from back from 2017. So as soon as you get this camera, you're going to want to update its firmware because it will not adopt in the new version of the unified video controller software. And you'll spend at least, you know, 15, 20 minutes trying to figure out what the hell is going on before you figure out, well, let me try to update the firmware. There's the camera there. We have a mast or pole mounting bracket. We have screws with drywall plugs. And we have a rubber gasket seal for outdoor mounting. There's nothing else in the box. Just a little manual, it tells you how to mount it, basic settings. It's actually not a bad little display there. The camera itself is uh, actually has a decent amount of weight to it. It's not super heavy. I guess I gotta turn it this way for you guys. It's not super heavy, uh, not super light. It's definitely front heavy where all the electronics are in. The plastic is really, it seems like it's gonna hold up and it's pretty durable. Uh, it seems like that really tough glass fiber type of plastic. So on the back here, it already has the wall mount screwed in. So I'm just gonna unscrew that for you. This is the aluminum mounting kit. So that's aluminum, everything else is plastic, uh, except for one of the pieces on the inside I'll show you later. But the little teeth in here, the little teeth outside here, line up with the uh, teeth in here, and that enables you to rotate it while it's still mounted. So that's that, two little holes you need to drill. Um, it has a little pivot mount, so you can basically Go from this or this, if you want to mount it directly straight, point it down, and obviously you can turn it in that direction there. Your ethernet cable, once you mount it, is gonna go through here, and then it's gonna go through into here. And if you can see there, there's the ethernet jack. And if you're mounting it outdoors, what you're gonna to wanna to do is you wanna put this rubber seal in here and then put the, the cable through that so that inhibits uh, additional or any water from getting in. And it seals really well, I've, I've, I've tested it. Although I think the camera I put outside my place, I forgot to put it in. Anyway, so that's that. And then the other uh, piece here is you unscrew this. And then that exposes the ethernet jack, as well as the reset button, as well as the Mac address of the camera, as well as you can see here, it has 48 volt, 48 volt half amp which means that you will be able to um, use any sort of PoE plus switch if you need to. There's another plastic little, plastic little flap. And you'll see that there's a spot for a micro SD card so you can do local recordings if you want. And there's a mini uh, USB jack there. And this is for the accessory, which is a, I think like an external uh, enhanced night vision. I haven't, had the need to purchase that, so I can't really comment on that. And I haven't really used the internal SD card for recording, because that is not of any use to me either. So I'm gonna put this back, it wants to go in. And then the front of the camera, it's just a little glare visor there, and then you peel the plastic off once you have it mounted. So that's pretty much the, the camera, guys. Uh, Again, the selling, the selling point on these cameras for me is the software and the ease of use and setup. Um, one thing I will tell you is uh, don't use these plugs that come with the camera. They're very cheap and they don't work at all. Uh, if you wanna try it for yourself, go ahead. You'll be disappointed. Just get some from the Home Depot and, and uh, use your own. What else do I have to say? Uh, what I will say though is the aluminum on plastic threading is you know not the greatest 
but I, I suppose once you're mounted, you're not really going to touch it. So I don't think it's too big of a deal. It's just the plastic, you know, all, like, you know, the whole thing is plastic. I don't know how these are going to fare up after a few years of uh, climate we have up here in the north, which is very, very hot and humid summers and very, very cold and dry winters. So I'll have to see uh, with that. I have one camera up uh, in my in my place, so I'll let you know if anything goes uh, goes up with that. The other thing I want to mention is, yeah, this is aluminum here as well. So I think the actual the ring on the outside is aluminum, and again, the plastic threading is you know not the greatest, but it seems to work. On the camera that I mounted uh, at my place, what I did, because I was a little bit paranoid, was I think I actually siliconed this part here a little bit so that if it were to get wet, it couldn't seep in there. And the same thing here is when I had this closed up, I siliconed this area as well. Um, when you're mounting it and you have it mounted and you want to go ahead and adjust, you want to you want to find the best possible position because I find after you mount this, you'll see it gets quite a bit tight as I try to tighten it up all the way. Anyway, so if you have it just on like, you know, a uh, half inch or quarter inch or whatever drywall that you might be putting this on, you want to avoid moving it too much afterwards. You want to try to get it in place the first time because you'll find that if it's uh, too high or too low and you want to sort of bring this down, you see that uh, you really can't, so you have to start loosening this back part. And it's not that easy to unscrew. I mean, it's easy, but when you're on the wall, when you're sort of trying to unscrew it on the wall and you're trying to move this, you're also moving the mount on the wall. And because you just have some a couple of little tiny drywall plugs and, and screws, this can come loose kind of easily. So that's just one thing that I'll, I'll, I'll warn you guys about. Uh, try to set it and forget it. Don't try to fiddle with it too much afterwards. Uh, this will just get looser. It's not going to come off or anything. It just it will just get loose. You'll see what I mean uh, when you mount, start mounting these. All right. Any comments? Leave them down below. If you have any questions, see you later.
uh, yeah, I mentioned the firmware and everything like that. So yeah, that's that's really about it. Uh, really simple to install, really simple to use. If you guys have any questions, leave it in the comments below. But that's about it. I'll talk to you later.